Hello everybody and welcome to how to get a max wallet instantly in just like five minutes. That's all it takes. What you're gonna need is you're going to need a horse, um, a nearby shop. I have a nearby shop in Lookout Landing. Where is it? A nearby shop to sell stuff at. Um, I'm going to sell to this clothing shop that's in Lookout Landing because it's the easiest and everyone has basically been here if you're watching this most likely. Um, this glitch is extremely cool by the way. All you need is a horse, a shop to sell at, a ledge, a throwable item, and a valuable item. Now I'm going to be using diamonds as the valuable item. You're going to need at least six of them to make this glitch work. The more you have the better actually though. Alright. So we're going to take our horse, and we're going to bring the horse over to this ledge. We can do this ledge by this tree, which is south on the south side of Lookout Landing. Let's put your horse there, and we're going to climb. Oh, actually, we can use Ascend. We're going to ascend up here. And how this is going to work is we're going to use a glitch called Hold Smuggling. Now, hold smuggling credits are up on the screen if you want to see the people who actually made them or who actually made this and the person who I found the glitch from, from the video that I found it from. So you're going to uh, click R and hold out a bright bloom seed. And what you're going to do, move forward and jump onto your horse somewhat like this and pause right before Link like falls onto the horse like that. Now you can check if it worked, if if you're able to hold diamonds or what, if you're able to hold things, it worked. If you can't hold things, it didn't work yet. So you just kind of have to keep trying this. I'm still not that great at it. Some tips though, is it seems to be earlier than you think. Pause buffering doesn't really work. It's too slow in this game. Keep repeating this and using ascend until you are able to hold the diamonds or whatever you're planning on selling diamonds is the best because it's worth 500 rupees every time you sell them so you're gonna hold all five of the item when you want to sell you can actually vary it up if you wanted you could like hold other objects too but what we're just gonna do is we're gonna hold five diamonds make sure you have at least one extra in your inventory after holding them and then you're going to press minus. Don't leave this menu. Just press minus straight up from this. And it'll bring you to this. Then go to your adventure log. And you're going to go to down to your memories. What's nice about this game is that you always have the awakening memory. So you're going to play this memory. Skip it because you don't actually have to watch it. It's just to like trick the game. And now we're going to click plus to go back to the inventory menu. Don't click B. Click plus. And we're straight back here. Now, we're going to hold five diamonds again. And click B. I didn't land on the horse. Come on, game. Oh. Okay, this looks good. Okay, we're gonna hold all of them. We're gonna watch the memory. We're gonna skip it. We're gonna click plus, hold them all again, and land on the horse. If you see that diamond freaking out on the floor, that means you did it right, as long as you're on your horse. If the diamond's freaking out and you're on your horse, then you did it right. Now, we're gonna walk over to the shop. I don't know why I'm shimmying. We're going to talk to this lady, Mubs, and as you can see, it's not going to let us talk to her for some reason. We're, like, glitched. Now, there is a way to talk to her. If you hold out a material to throw, it then lets you talk to her if you press Z, L, and A. And here we go. Okay, now we can say, buy my stuff. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to just sell all of your diamonds. All 12. And now, if we leave this menu by clicking B and then clicking buy my stuff again, all your diamonds are back and you can continue to keep selling these 
until you have 999999 rupees. It's really cool. Um, as you can see, I only have 12 diamonds, so I'm only getting 6,000 rupees every time I do this. Only 6,000 rupees. That sounds really weird to say. So, if I do it twice, I get a little over 10,000 uh, rupees. So, it'll take me longer. It'll t it takes you longer if you have less diamonds. That's kind of how it works. This is the most efficient way. Every other way of getting rupees is not worth it anymore. Honestly, the horse section isn't that hard. Um, I do, I'm just really bad at it, I think. I don't think it's that tricky. The timing's just hard for me. Uh, that's basically it. You just keep doing this. Um, hope this helped. If you liked it, subscribe. Like the video, please, too. Uh, look at the playlist in the description for other glitch guides and Tears of the Kingdom guides. Make sure to check the uploads page, you know, because I have videos that get uploaded there. And make sure to comment because I read and reply to every comment.